What's up YouTube, Fishhawk here. Today we're at a small pond. We're gonna see this eye bobber in action. Stay tuned. All right. I downloaded the eye bobber app and this is basically what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and hit sonar. And as you can see, I have it laying here on the truck seat so it's not showing anything. But we're gonna go over here to this pond and we're going to test this thing out, see how well it works. This is the first time that this bobber has been in the water, so I'm going to toss out here kind of short just for the first time because I'm just a little worried. I don't want to lose it. I forgot one important step. you got to turn the Bluetooth on. Go back to your uh, app here. Bluetooth sync, there we go. Here we go. Pick fish hawk. That's what I named the uh, bobber. Connecting. All right, it says it's connected. So we're going to go back. All right. Sonar. Look, it knows I bobber out of water. All right, let's toss it out here. All right, so it's basically saying that it's five foot. Let's see if we can find any fish on it. Let's reel it in a little bit. I know there's some fish right out here because I can see them. No fish yet. There we go, there we go. Look at that. Look at those fish. Man, that is awesome. Showing some little bit of grass there on the bottom. Oh yeah. Bobber out of water. Bobber out of water? What y'all talking about? There we go. Sewing some fish. Oh man, we got a problem. Keep saying bobber out of water. There we go. Looks to me like it's gotta be pretty still for it to be working properly. The depth is definitely wrong because it's saying that it's five foot and it's not five foot. All right, let's toss it out there. Let's toss it out here a little deeper and towards the middle of the pond. All right, it's way out there now. All right, we're showing six foot three right there where it's at. That's probably pretty accurate. I mean, this is a tiny pond, six foot six now. There's a fish at four foot going by. There's another fish at four foot, so Four foot seems to be where some of the fish are suspended. The breeze is kind of blowing the bobber towards us. There's another one at four foot. All right, let's see if we can find a little deeper, a little deeper water. I'm gonna reel it in here. Let's not drop my phone and let's toss this thing out here where I think one of the deepest spots is. All right, we're out there. Let's see what we find. All right, right now it's reading 5.7, and it's showing some fish, 5.2. Showing some fish near the surface, one foot. It looks like uh, probably some sunfish. Probably coming up to inspect the bobber, see what's going on. It's holding steady at 5.2. We're gonna try something different. We're gonna go to the home button right here, and we're gonna go to waterbed. And basically, we're going to cast the bobber out and reel it slowly in. It's going to kind of contour and show what the bottom looks like. So, uh, cast the eye bobber and then I'll press OK. So, we're going to throw it out here. Right there. And we're going to press OK. Three, two, one. Press OK when done mapping. It says reel in bobber. So, let's reel the bobber in slowly. All right, we got the bobber reeled in. Okay. All right. So that's kind of what the bottom looks like. As you can see, it's 
kind of a little higher right here and then gradually it gets a little deeper and then right at the bank you can see where it goes back up so that's pretty cool it's got the water temperature I guess that's the water temperature down there at the bottom and your depth is over here so that's pretty cool you can see what the bottom of the body of water that you're fishing you can kind of see what the bottom looks like you can find some drop-offs or you know maybe a power brush or some rocks or something like that so that's pretty helpful this is probably one of the deepest spots in the pond I can tell because of how steep the bank is and this is the dam right here where they build up the dam so we'll try this spot and see what uh, what reading we can get all right 5.7 is what we're getting and it is showing some fish it's showing one right on the bottom at six foot one at four foot and one at one showing a couple more fish four foot and one foot I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that the deepest spot in this pond is probably right around six foot which really wouldn't be that big of a surprise considering the size of it I want to test this thing out in a little bigger lake you know where it's about 20 30 foot deep I'll be anxious to see how it performs in a bigger lake 3.7 so it is registering that that the bobbers moving closer to the bank there's some fish there's one at, around the bottom and one at two foot there's a big dip right there in the bottom I don't know if you can see that or not there's a few more fish it's showing oh I see the fish oh my god there's a fish right there swimming right under it. It's a little uh, sunfish. That is awesome. That is awesome. It definitely does pick up fish. I just saw one swim right under the bobber and it showed on the screen. So that's pretty cool. That's going to do it for today. I just wanted to do a quick demonstration, show you how this eye bobber works. It does everything it says it's supposed to do. It shows you water depth, water temperature. It shows you fish and you can also contour the bottom of the body of water that you're fishing. It will show you structure, drop-offs, and stuff like that. It's very simple and easy to use. All you do is charge it up, you download the app, you connect it with Bluetooth, you cast it out, you hit sonar, and it'll show you everything you need to know. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish all cap.